in terms of Cicely Tyson, I mean, uh, what can you, what else can you say, right? Cicely Tyson was a legend. Uh, she had uh, an incredible life, an incredible career um, from very humble beginnings. Uh, quite frankly, it's this American dream that people keep saying exists. When you look at people like Cicely Tyson, uh, you, you kind of believe it. Mm -hmm. so, um, I was going to say, so I know so, Lizzie, this is one of Lizzie's favorite, favorite, favorite. favorite. Favorite actresses, um, she had a career that is, that's um, carried over and spanned more than seven decades, okay? Uh, I mean, most of us will be lucky to live that long, but to live that long and have, you know, 20 years, 20 or so years before you start your career um, is, is truly amazing. And I remember the first movie that I saw with Cicely Tyson um, was of course the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, which my school, both my school, um, played every year for Black History Month. And then it also used to come on TV. It used to come on Fox every year for Black History Month. And it's told from the perspective of, I believe, a 110 year old former slave. And mm -hmm. so she narrates the entire movie. And so I remember I used to get in trouble for this, but you know, a 110 year old woman, her voice may be a little scratchy or scraggly. So right. Susan Tyson, you know, throughout the entire movie when she's narrated, she talks like this. And so I used to run around talking like that all through Black History Month. <laughs> you know, that's really funny. I, I always thought, I always noticed in movies when they dress people up and to look older, there's so many actors that do not change their voice. Because, you know, voices, when you get older, you start to like go slower, it rumbles a little bit. And actors, and you can always That's tell true. when actors in makeup because they don't change their voices. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. I thought yeah, you're yeah, a great actor. Yeah, she... All the time. And my dad thought, I think both of my parents actually thought that it was so disrespectful. So disrespectful. But I got a kick out of it. <laughs> I got a kick out of it. Yeah. You know, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. But I, I recently, you're because inspired. I... I had seen that movie a long time ago. It was my, my aunt had recorded it because it, it, it was originally a CBS made for television movie. And she recorded mm -hmm. it on, on VHS and, and she was watching it one day and I was watching it. And it was, that was one of the first times that I, you know, heard the N word spoken aloud. You know what I mean? And it was, so I, I decided to rewatch it and man, she, she really transcends everyone else in that movie, right? Because it's the 70s, you know, some of these people are not good actors, but when you put them up against Cicely Tyson, like it like the the delta is just it's astronomical because she was she was yeah, she was she was a, a an incredible talent. She would all she's the type of actress that uh no matter what she popped up in no matter how good or or utterly garbage the movie is, looking at you, Tyler Perry movies, um, <laughs> oh, she no. classed she she classed oh, those Tyler Perry. movies <laughs> up just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, look, don't get me started on those. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, it, it, she was she was she was a phenomenal talent. And she lived, uh, she lived to be 96. And that is, like you said, that's something that, I mean, and, I'm hoping and, and praying. And, and, I, and I admit to And working, working. yes. And, yeah. and working. And I admit to something, I thought she was our yeah. only. And I heard that. You know, there are some things you need to keep to yourself in public, you know? I was, like, I mean, you know? My wife got, my wife said the same thing. My wife was like, what? Are you, what is wrong with you? <laughs> No, I'm just, I got it. Sometimes I just got to be honest. I was like, oh, wait, I thought, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm not the only one that has looked up and saw that someone passed away and they were like, wait, I thought they were already gone. Yeah, I mean, she, was you know, she was literally in a movie ever. in 2020. I know, I know. I, yeah. I, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm just an idiot. So I'm allowed to be an idiot once in a while. That's just, all you. Right. Don't on that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Lizzie has a ton to say on that one. 
All right, Robbie Rock and Gianni, I want to give you a chance to say anything about Cicely Tyson, if you have some comments or thoughts. Yeah, um, I really feel like when I saw, and it's so funny that you were like making fun of the Tyler Perry movies, and the first time I think I've seen Cicely Tyson and recognized her for who she was, was in, a Tyler, was in that Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> And I was like, oh, like I loved her, even though her role was just like the grandmother that kind of like made this big speech and stuff. So um, every role she does, she's a, she embodies like she is the character completely. I think that's rare for actors to do. There's a lot of like actors acting like they they look like they're acting, even some of the best. So yeah, she's one of the rare ones. <laughs> hey, Robbie Rock, someone with. Someone with an, an illustrious career that's like nothing that hasn't been said already. It's uh, she, yeah. she had a wonderful career that spanned several decades and just just a powerful, powerful presence on screen. And I mean, very well celebrated on both on and off screen. So it's uh, yeah, it's sad to see someone like that go. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Jasmine Robinson says she refused to play demeaning roles. Um, hmm. She says uh, it was. She also says it was considered a landmark movie because of the makeup and the way she was allowed to age progressively. Mike Winter says mm -hmm. she she was still good in How to Get Away with Murder in her 90s. And uh, <laughs> I think Mike Winter was responding to me about uh, Cicely Tyson and uh, saying <laughs> calling me a Bama. And then, uh, <laughs> but Kevin Thaxton says Neo Nix. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh wow, you guys are crazy. <laughs> They run Derek, the same circles. They run in the same circle, so birds of a feather. Derry Winter Bird. wanted to know which Tyler movie, uh, what's the name of the movie that uh, she was oh, in? Oh, man. Uh, she was in a couple. She was in A Fall from Grace, which was just uh, a horrendous movie. But it's one of those movies that's so bad that I, I can't help but to laugh at it. Um, <laughs> she was also in Medea's Family Reunion. She was in Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Um, again, look, I'm not, and that's the thing with Tyler Perry. I respect the man's hustle. I just yeah. do not respect his art. I, 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 just, I don't I respect his art, but I, 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 agree with yeah. you. I really haven't, I've seen snippets of Tyler Perry movies, but I've never seen a Tyler Perry movie in full, never watched any yeah. of these of the TV shows. And you know, my mom is from the South, but we never said Medea growing like that just wasn't our experience growing up and it's not my yeah. genre of cinema and i think that's fine i think that's fine i like i respect his hustle i respect that he employs black people i respect that he has built like the black hollywood studio now in georgia totally respect that it's just his movies his idea of cinema and storytelling is not my thing not your cup of tea yeah, yeah. No, not at all 100 percent agree all right. well, we, we also wanted to uh, 